This is honestly my favorite planner that Erin Condren has ever done ever. My favorite layout and this is the best of the three designs. Happy Life Planner launch week. We are on the official countdown to April 24th, Erin Condren Life Planner launch day. And I am so excited to be able to share with you all today the inspired design in the A5 Daily Duo layout. So bright, so colorful, so joyful, and I am loving, 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 as always, the A5 Daily Duo by Erin Condren. It is just so easy to throw in a bag, take with you everywhere. You can still personalize it. You can still choose whatever you want. We'll dive into all of those details. So let's just get started before I tell you everything that I'm here to share with you today because I am so excited to share with you more a deep dive of this planner. Let's go. Hey, I'm Planner Britt. I am here to make planning fun for you. Whether you are a beginning planner, just getting started, don't even know what planner layouts are, or you've been planning for years, I'm here to make sure that you have a fun time while organizing. Get your stickers, get your washi out, and let's get started. So this is the Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo in the Inspired Design. A5 is their smaller size. They also have seven by nine as their classic planner size. That's what they have in daily and weekly layouts. This one is a daily layout called the Daily Duo in the A5 smaller size. I love it because it is so portable and I'm loving this design. So this is the Etta V, who is the artist, the Etta V Inspired Design, one of the three new designs from Erin Condren for this Life Planner launch. So I'll flip through, show you the pages, tell you a little bit about what's new this year, but the main difference really is the design. Honestly, there isn't anything different in the layout. So I'll show you what that is like and I'll show you what the pages look like and you can decide if this is the design and the layout for you this year. If you get the A5 Daily Duo, then it comes with two books technically because each six months. So you can see here that this is actually 2024, January through June. And then the first half would be the rest of 2023, which is July through December. And you can also get it just the calendar year if you want. This is the academic year. You can see here that it is able to be personalized. And so I actually didn't choose this, it was sent to me. And you get the the rulers with it with each one gets a ruler so really fast before we flip into the planner is there are this is a gold coil but there are coil options so you can choose from a couple of different options this year you have the same colors as last year you have the platinum silver the gold or the rose gold if you get a seven by nine planner there's also an additional option there's a multi-color coil this year so you can click to the caption below and i'll link over to some other pictures and some other pages that'll show you where you can see that and that might be a deal breaker or a deal maker for you so flipping up first thing is that recently erin condren changed their dashboards this is their dashboard page they actually have two but there's a dashboard inside their cover so it used to just be lined and now they have it where it really is little mini dashboards in here so you can use a wet erase a dry erase even a sharpie i've used before and then just use dry erase over it to erase works great and it's a nice little area there these covers from erin condren always are interchangeable they also have some interchangeable vegan covers this year so that's exciting so one of the best things about erin condren is how customizable and personalizable it is so you can change your covers like i do for holidays or months or whatever if you're just in a different mood you can change it up which is great this nice vellum erin condren has come to be known for having great designs on their vellum here so this is the Etta V Touch, which I love. Seriously, this is probably my favorite design that Erin Condren has ever had, this Inspire theme. It's so joyful, so fun, I'm loving it. So you can write your name in the first part. We have the six boxes that Erin Condren has come to be known for also, but most people use these for a month. Honestly, I usually don't. I have used it before in months to track different things when my kids are growing up in different milestones that they had. But what I like to do now is kind of put different things that I wanna remember around the areas. I like to put restaurants, play places, whatever, shopping areas, anything like that. I like to put those so that when people come and visit, I can remember, oh, these are different places that I might wanna take people. Then over here, you have your kind of year or half year at a glance. I like to write here things that, so when I'm using the other half first, I'll write down in here things coming up this half of the year. So I can remember to put them in the monthly daily pages as they come. And then you get the year overview here. And then every month has these beautiful cover pages. So here's the January one, February, March. So these colors are the same colors, these tab colors. April, the Erin Carter always uses May. So if you have come to know and memorize, like I have the colors June that they use every year, then that is what you have. The next one, July. August is always yellow, 
September, October, November, and last but not least, December. So some people love this, some people don't. I know some people don't like having a lime green color here. Some people like to have red or blue for winter or something like that. So there are other planners that have either the wildflower theme is a softer theme, pastel colors, or there's a new canvas theme this year that is truly neutral. All the tabs are gray if you're not about having the colors here. And then we'll dive into what the month looks like. So here is the month. Again, I am loving this. I definitely using this layout, this design, this everything for this year. This is the exact planner that I will be using all year, guaranteed. Here we have um, the usual layout that they have. Boxes, notes, month. And then this again, same, same layout. You have line pages here. Same boxes here, same style, dot grid lined list here, but then just the little soft touches. I actually like they made these light here. And then going into the daily view. So if you haven't used the daily view before, again, this is available in the seven by nine larger size, same layout, or this A5 smaller size, which fits so great into a bag, purse, backpack, whatever you have. So this is what I like to use. Has the hours here, has extra at the bottom. You can either use this for 8 p.m., which is what I usually do, or some people use it for meal planning or homework or whatever you might have that you want to do at night. And then you have the month calendar here, which is very, very, very controversial. A lot of people do not like this month in the little month at a glance on every page, but I actually like it. I use it. I circle the day every single day so I can see where we are in the month and it helps me a lot. So I'm a fan of the calendar. I don't really use this spot up here a lot. I usually will use something down here if I have to do's or things I have to remember that aren't necessarily here, or I might put that as someone's birthday. That's it. That's it, we have a lot of space here, we have space here, we have space here. I don't think it's that big of a deal to have the calendar and it helps me remember where we are during the year without having to flip back to the month page because I like to just have this page open literally all day. Throughout my day, I just leave this open unless I'm going somewhere. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and how cool that January 1st is on a Monday this year, that's kinda nice. And then Sunday and then Erin Condren did keep their extra lined pages like we've come to love at the end of every week. So at the end of every week, you'll have a lined page here. You can use that for whatever you want. Some people use it for a week at a glance since they don't have the weekly aspect in the Daily Duo. Some people will do meal planning. Some people will do whatever it might be. Honestly, I use it for random things. Whenever I need a random note page, I usually just go to this page in my planner and it's really helpful. So then we have the whole month. And then at the end of the month, You'll see the last day of the month, lined page, and then over to here. So we have that every single month, and then we'll get to June. We have the same thing. Again, Erin Condren has printed holidays in here for us, so that's helpful. So they have the last note page after the Sunday, and then they have one more, and then extra observances. So if you're wanting to know when different heritage months are, different days like that, that they didn't print in because... I don't know, maybe not everyone recognizes it or maybe they didn't fit, like some of these are longer, then you can still write it in there because at least you have the dates in here. And then we have our final stickers here. So classic, as always, Erin Conner has these stickers, but I rarely ever use these, honestly. However, with the Etta V design here, this inspired design, especially these little like droplet ones, I'm probably going to use them. They are so pretty here. And then let me get this out of here, but Erin Condren does give coupons if you get the Life Planner and they're 20% off coupons. So there's two of those that you can either share or use of these. These are little like compliment inspiration cards. So here they are and these are just to gift out to people or to yourself, you can hang them up, whoever you wanna inspire and encourage. I really like these little phrases that they have this year. And they have a pocket back here, which I use this pocket all the time as well. I put like either bills I need to pay or doctor's appointments or whatever I want, whatever, whatever you need here. And then this, I think a lot of people don't use this, but I honestly use mine every single year. Perpetual calendar is when you open it up, it just has every single month with lines here and you can write, I use it for birthdays. Honestly, you can write birthdays and anniversaries and then you use it year over year over year because they probably aren't going to be changing whatever you're writing in here. So you can write in here and then remember every January 5th is so-and-so's birthday and just keep adding to it. And so I have been using my perpetual calendar for years and I actually give these to people because it is really nice to be able to have this and remember over and over and over what's going on. You have important contacts, passwords. I don't use these pages, but you can. And then also even more dates than what they had in here. You can have right here so you can see what all of these important holidays and dates are. So your planner will come with it. And then the back dashboard of the cover is a lined page. 
And there you have it. So this is the Erin Condren 2024 or 2023, 2024. This one's the 2024 A5 Daily Duo with the Inspire Design by Eta V. So let me know what you all think. Are you getting this design? Are you still checking them out? This honestly is the perfect planner for me. Even though I love the canvas and I'll show you all here because I am doing a review of that one as well. I love the canvas design because of its simplicity. I could not pass up how bright and joyful and a chance to support Eta V. I'm loving it. So this will be my planner for this year. So that was a peek into my planner for this next year. My favorite design, my favorite layout of all time. I was so excited to be able to share this with you all. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this planner. Is this the planner also for you? If so, come connect with me over on Instagram at Planner Brit. I would love to see your ideas, your thoughts, any kits that you have. Send them over. Let me start over this a bit. Now you all got to see my favorite planner of all time that Erin Condren has had. I'm so excited to be using this for the 2023-2024 year. This inspired design is just beautiful. I love it. I know it's going to bring me joy as I go throughout the year. I also am so excited that Erin Condren has left the Daily Duo as perfect as it is because this layout is the one for me. Let me know down in the comments below if this is also the layout or the color theme for you. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel so that we can keep making planning fun.